whether it's when you're tested, the imbalances and the amounts of tests, depending on who the athlete is, the peculiar situations you get put in when random testing occurs throughout your day. If you're getting ready to head out for a birthday dinner and a tester shows up, you're not going to that dinner or they're coming with you. I've seen people getting tested between semifinals and finals at a major championships, family vacations, in the middle of dropping their kids to school, the peculiar situations that athletes end up when it comes to random testing. It's ridiculous. It's borderline degrading. It ain't even like the majority of track and field athletes have the finances or the means to fully facilitate how much it costs to take and or cover up taking drugs. I mean, the major sports are the ones with all the money or the athletes with the money to be able to facilitate something like that. Not saying that they are, but I'm just saying, but these other professional sports, they got a level of dignity, a level of pride. Track and field on the other hand. They're dealing with a body of athletes that essentially have no financial resource. If you're, listen, if you're one of the best 400 meter sprinters in the world, how much money do you think you make? You know what I mean? We're a f***ing joke, man. Without any backbone in a scenario like this, there's no way that we can refer to track and field as a professional sport. 